Have you ever wondered what is other on your iOS device? So it's a mysterious data that acquire a lot of space on your iPhone and iPad. Want to get rid of it and free up some space on your iPhone? Hello all, I'm Nikhil from iGeeks blog and today in this video, I'll talk about how you can delete others on your iPhone or iPad. But hey, before I get started, I would like to request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon so you never miss update from us. Now, if you have done that, let's first understand what's other on your iPhone. So it's the home to a variety of stuffs like browser history, cookies, logs, cache of photos and videos, database files and more compiled data by apps. Take a look at settings, general and iPhone storage. This will take time to calculate all the data and will share the final numbers. So my iPhone 11 is 128 GB and 97 GB is used. And out of this 97 GB, hey, did you notice it's like 14 GB of the other storage? Thank God I'm not using my iPhone 5s or iPhone 7 which has 32 GB of storage. So this is the same exact feeling you may have but don't worry, I'm here to solve this issue. As I mentioned earlier that this other storage is mainly cache files, database files and more which are created by apps. Let me go back to check the possibilities to find such files and delete them. If your iPhone running iOS 13 or iOS 14 then you will see a recommendation to use iCloud Drive or delete a few data like photos from recently deleted album. And if you scroll down you will see a list of individual apps and the size they are using on your iPhone. Now you will have two options, offload the app or delete this app which will also delete the data along with the app. But hey, do you know what is the difference between offloading an app and removing it? Okay, let me explain it. So offload app will free up some storage by the app, but it will not delete documents and data using or attach with that app. You can access that by simply reinstalling the app in the future. But removing an app will delete all the app files and all the data. So if you are not using an app but data is important then you can pick the offload app option. See in my case this option helped me to free up some space on my device but the impact of this hack is not that good. For example, I am not using this app. If I offload this app then it will free up approx 100 MB of space. In this case, it is advisable to check the individual file especially those large size file and delete them if those are not required and this will create a big impact. But hey, keep looking and check each app and you will get to know the culprit. <laughs> Another way is to clear cache files of browser like Safari or Chrome. So navigate to settings, Safari and tap on clear history and data. Now clearing such history and data in Google Chrome is little bit tricky. Open Google Chrome, tap on three dots, settings, privacy, clear browser data. Pick the time range and tap on clear browsing data. So these were all for a browser but what about native app like messages? I guess you caught that. The iMessage can be the culprit eating up a lot of space on your iPhone especially those Memoji and Animoji chats. You might have sent a file or a video or photos. Such files and data eat up a lot of space on your iPhone and you can clear them to free up some space. So just take a look into the messages to pick individual chat or documents or review large attachments. Pick the files and delete them. Over here, take a look at one more option for auto-delete old conversations. This will automatically remove all your messages and attachments that were sent or received a year before. And surprise surprise, this will free up 145 MB of space on my iPhone. Let me do that now. <laughs> Moving on with the Photos app, we have just seen that the Photos app is the one that acquires a lot of space on my iPhone. 
Taking a look at this segment, we will have a three options. Number one, sync with iCloud. Number two, recently deleted photos, which we already discussed. And number three, review our personal videos. Sometimes it happens that we recorded a one video and forget to delete it, which happens all the time with me and a such high quality recorded footage is kept on our iPhone without any reason. So reviewing them and deleting them is an unadvisable option. I know, I know this is not the other storage on iPhone, but you know what, such bonus tips saves lives sometimes. <laughs> and just in a case, if we just want to talk about the other data, then mail app can be the reason for such space. Not email conversation, but attachments eat up space on your iPhone. So reviewing such apps like default mail app, Gmail, Spark or other email apps you are using will be a great hack and will be helpful to delete other data from your iPhone. Just like email apps, you can review other social media apps like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook or a few more you are using on a regular basis. Let's take an example of Twitter app which is almost 260 MB on my iPhone. To clear cache and data from Twitter app, open app, tap on menu, settings and privacy, data usage, media storage, clear media storage. Go back and tap on web storage. Clear all web storage. This is easy, right? But an app like Instagram does not have this option and it is like 500 MB, a half of GB on my iPhone. The only way to clear the clutter with such app is to delete it and reinstall it. And trust me, this will create a big impact on your iPhone storage. Oof. A lot of tricks that we have just talked about. But hey, these are the major hacks that will help you to save some space on your iPhone and you can quickly delete other data. You just need to keep an eye on your iPhone storage and apps, those are eating up a lot of space. Catch them, take the action and boom, you will have a more room to play. <laughs> this is not it. Freeing up a space on your iPhone will also improve its performance. So it's not just about getting a space but also about enhancing your experience of using your iDevice. This is it my friends and I hope you found all tricks helpful. Let me know which trick helped you the most, share it with me in the comments down below. Also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Nikhil signing off, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay connected.